Hello everyone. My name is Saja. Today I will read Angelina and the Princess. Let's start it. Miss Lily's Ballet School has been invited to perform for the Princess of Mouseland. And Angelina hopes to be a Parma ballerina, but disaster strikes and she is only given a minor role. Angelina is so disappointed that she wants to leave ballet school, but she decides to work hard for the sake of all her friends in the performance then unexpected turn of events leads to happy ending for all angelina was much too excited to sleep the student and miss lily's ballet school had been asked to dance for her royal highness the princess of Mouseland, Mr. Lightfoot, director of the famous Royal Ballet Company, was coming tomorrow to help Miss Lily choose the best ballerina for the special performance. Angelina wanted a leading part so much that she was on her pleas and pirouettes far into the night when she should have been sound asleep. The next morning, Angelina woke up feeling terrible. Her head ached and her ears burst. Angelina's mother took her temperature and shook her head sadly. I am afraid you will have to stay in bed, she said. You cannot go to bed school when you are not well. But Angelina was determined to go. While her mother was busy downstairs, Angelina packed her ballet bag and, and tiptoed out of the house. Angelina arrived at Miss Lily's Ballet School just in time to join her friend Flora and Felicity and all the other ballerinas who were waiting to go on stage. Flora did a nimble leap and a delicate spin. And then it was Angelina's turn to dance. Her heart started beating like a drum and she could, couldn't remember what she was supposed to be doing. The music started and Angelina knew she had to begin. She tired one step, she tired another. Then she began twirling and spinning like a top until she was so dizzy she lost her balance trip on her pink ribbon and tumbled uh, down with the thumb. Flora and Felicity were given the leading rules in the dance of the Floor fairies later Miss Lily called for Angelina. I'm afraid you will have to take a smaller part this time, she said, trying to be kind. When Angelina got home, her mother 
was very upset. How could you run away like that? When I told you to stay in bed, she asked. Angelina burst into tears. I had to go to Miss Lily's, but everything went wrong. I danced so badly for Mr. Lightfoot. I will never be a real ballerina. I am not going to ball school anymore. Angelina's mother hugged her and kissed her and carried her upstairs and in just a minute she was fast asleep in her own bed again. The next day, Angelina's headache was gone. She felt better, but she was still very sad. It's not fair, said Angelina. Maybe not, her mother said gently, but things don't always go our way. You can still do your best with whatever part you are given and that will help the whole performance. Angelina thought about what her mother had said then she returned to Miss Lily after all the rehearse very hard with the other ballerinas for the royal performance. After she had learned her own part, she memorized the dance of the flower fa fairies while watching Flora and Felicity. On the day of the royal performance, just as the show was about to begin, Flora tripped and sprinted. Her ankle, everyone was terribly upset. Mr. Lightfoot and Miss Lily turned to each other in horror. Who can do the part? She cried. Angelina was worried about Flora, but Susie stepped forward and said, Angelina can. Angelina showed Miss Lily that she had learned the dance by heart. But what about Flora? She asked. Don't worry, said Miss Lily. We have a treat for her. So Flora was happy because she was invited to sit right next to the princess of Mouseland. Mr. Lightfoot and Miss Lily were happy because the performance could go on. Angelina was happy because she did the dance of the floor fairies without Forgetting a single step, the princess of Mouseland was happy because she loved ballet. When the performance was over, she congratulated Angelina and thanked her family for saving the show. Bye!